Every now and then I get to look at something new. This distribution is great for old or outdated hardware or is beneficial as a rescue CD. I'm speaking about Antix 13 Luddite and we're going to look at that right now on Spatry's Cup of Linux. Let's begin. Now, Antix is a live CD that you can use to rescue your system, or you can run this on your old hardware. I'm looking at this in live CD mode, and I was really impressed at how quickly this booted. Okay, now this uses uh, Linux kernel version 3.7, and this is based on Debian testing. And this has a slew of applications that will allow you to get the most out of that old hardware that you're running. All of them lightweight, and some of them relatively simple to use, where other configurations may take a little bit of know-how. So I wouldn't recommend this for beginners. Okay, when we um, look at the uh, bottom of our screen, you'll see that we have a clock. You have a desktop switcher. You can uh, power, the, power the system off. Uh, this will allow you to unplug your USB drives. You also have a control center. I'm going to go ahead and open that up because we're going to have a tour of this in a moment. Okay, you also get the Ice Weasel web browser, which is an unbranded version of Firefox. You get a quick access to your terminal, your folders. You can show the entire desktop, and then this button will allow you to launch a menu. Now, you don't have to click this button, though, to uh, access uh, your menus. You can right-click anywhere you want to on your desktop and get that menu. Okay, and then, of course, you'll notice on the screen uh, some a few little quick launches to your files, the web browser, video, music, the terminal, a text editor, or you can install this on the system. And then looking at the control center here, you will see that um, there are some options for changing your uh, desktop wallpaper. That's pretty easy to do. Let's go ahead and pick out a different image here. There are a number to choose from. I've always been an outer spacey kind of guy, so let's apply that one. Why not? All right. Looking good. Looking good. Okay. Now, um, you can also change uh, GTK2 and icon themes. This, unfortunately, doesn't have uh, GTK3 support, but why would you want to have that on um, a sys you know, on older hardware? It probably wouldn't work that well. We'll go ahead and apply this. Okay, looking good, looking good. Uh, I've always liked the darker themes myself. Now, this is where it gets a little bit more difficult. Let's say you wanted to edit your Fluxbox settings. Well, what's going to happen is Gini is going to open up, and you pretty much you edit all these settings with um, Gini. And most of these settings are done with text. So you definitely want to check out the user manuals if you're going to um, get the most out of this in terms of uh, configuring these items. But the thing is, you also have a number of of other options if you want to manage your system monitor that is the conky rc file here and that's what is displaying on the right side of the screen that's basically giving us our indicators and that sort of thing and you'll notice that this is only using 90.7 megs of ram right now which is pretty darn good considering that um in this virtual machine i gave it uh three and a half gigs so Really, this, uh, this is not a resource hog at all. All right, let's go ahead and close this. And all the other settings here are also done through Gini as well. You can uh, manage your packages by pressing the system button, button here and edit your configuration files, set the date of time, and choose what services are going to start up for you. Your network configuration is here. You can manage your session. If you're going to use this as a rescue 
uh, USB, you can actually set up a live persistence. So it will remember the settings that you use every time you plug in your USB stick, which is pretty handy. Okay, and then of course you can manage your disks. There's a uh, Gparted that comes loaded with this. And of course, managing your hardware. Let's take a look at some of the applications you get with this as well. I'm just going to go ahead and right click on the desktop. And of course, uh, quick launches to items that I've already mentioned here. And applications uh, or accessories. Some pretty cool tools, all lightweight, ready to use. You have an archive manager, a root terminal. Uh, this comes with Space FM and it is integrated into the system. And Space FM is very well known as a uh, comprehensive file manager for Linux. Okay, um, looks like we've got two different choices for archivers. It's got X Archiver in here as well. Okay, you even get a few games bundled in with this, uh, including DOSBox, especially if you're running uh, an old uh, 266 megahertz machine. Um, you might want to dig out some of those uh, old uh, DOS games you used to play, like Laser Suit Larry, and uh, I can think of a few others. Uh, uh, that were a lot of fun back in the day. Uh, my favorite, I think, at the time was Phantasmagoria. And I used to run that one in DOS, and that was a fun game. But DOSBox will let you play those old games. And then, of course, a few extras, uh, extra goodies thrown in. Uh, you get a few graphics tools. Mirage was my favorite uh, graphic uh, image editor. And uh, it's surprising to see that's here. A few little internet tools. The full LibreOffice suite with a document viewer. A few little additional tools thrown in. Gini, which we've already had a look at for, for uh, managing and uh, editing your uh, preference files on the system. Some sound and video tools, which will allow you to pretty much play most documents out there today. A number of other system tools and all of your preferences. As you can see, way too many applications. I could never cover all of them in here. But a comprehensive little uh, live CD in its own right. Okay, and you also have some terminal applications as well. A multimedia player and uh, some more network tools. You can uh, manage your uh, settings for the desktop and the um, ICE window manager. And even more tools here. Uh, and, ah, good, nap killer. So if something freezes on you, you can launch this puppy and uh, kill that application that's gone haywire. All in all, I'm liking what I see here. And uh, now I just need to find an old piece of hardware to slap this onto and see how well it performs. But if you are looking for a distribution for that old hardware, rather than throwing away that old computer, throw this on there and bring that machine back to life. Thank you.